Hey fam, so I'm actually in the middle of a wash and go, if you even want to call it that. Um, I'm only going to wear this style probably for one day, possibly two at the most. Um, that Murray's grease, I just really wanted to wash my hair, but I didn't have the time to do a deep condition. So I will in the future be doing a review on um, a product that I think will be really, really good for a lot of naturals. I'll let you guys know how that works out for me. Um, but that's a little off the subject. Ashy and in the flesh once again. Anyway, so all I did was use shea butter and then the Echo Styler Gel, the brown gel, which is the protein gel. I originally started off with this, which is Silk Elements liquid styling gel it did not have quite enough weight for my 4a 4b curls so um a natural beauty three hit me up it's all yours so um i'm just going to go ahead shoot a little cold air on here just to kind of dry it a little bit i'm not going to use the diffuser and um i'll show you guys what it looks like after that Okay, so I've gone ahead, I kind of hit my hair with the blow dryer for just a little bit, maybe about 10 minutes. Um, I would not go out of the house with my hair looking like this. It has very little shape to it. The roots are really, really puffy. So I'm going to kind of lounge around the house maybe for another hour, let it air dry a little bit, and then I'm going to see about if I want to stretch the roots out just to make it really, really big. Um, but this is what I have so far. Hopefully you can see. You can kind of see a little bit of some of the shea butter, but my hair does not feel, you know, hard at all. And basically when I did my kind of wash, I did the Alba shampoo and conditioner. I put oil on my hair prior to detangled with herbal essence um the blue kind whatever the moisturizing one is detangled with that then i did the alba shampoo and conditioner i just let the conditioner sit on for a couple of minutes braided it up in four sections um or my hair was braided in four sections and so that's how i basically ap applied the product but you see you know it's nothing to write home about right now I just I don't know I don't like the shape it's like this hump right over here you know looking like I got something growing out of my head anyway so I think when I stretch it it's just going to be really really big and then have some of the curls on the end which you know I'm fine with but that hump I'm not feeling <laughs> so I will come to you guys just in a little bit you know, I'm gonna get dressed. I got an appointment with my daughter later on, so I'm gonna have some big fly hair. Talk to you guys soon. Okay, so I've kind of lounged around in the house for maybe about a half an hour. It is, you know, 80, 85% dry. Um, it does not really have crunch to it. Um, the shea butter definitely kind of, I feel like it protected my hair from being super super crunchy there is a nice soft hold so i'm just going to take my blow dryer i don't i will i'll use it i wasn't going to use the um concentrator attachment i'll just use that just to kind of stretch out my roots and i'll show you just a little bit of what i'll be doing i'm going to put it on low Yeah, I'm going to put it on low and it's warm. Just right on the roots. Get up in them roots. Mm. 
You know what, just to make this quicker, I'm gonna put it on high. I know. see where I'm at it's nice and fluffy I haven't done too much in the back like in the crown area um, I want a lot more length more so in the back you know and then kind of in the sides this bang here is really long I don't have you know that kind of bob layered look it's losing its shape over the over time so um let me just kind of stretch out the back just a little little bit more and um yeah let me just stretch out the back a little bit more <laughs> 